Hi everyone, my name is Ronald and uh, those of you who know me, I mainly do cooking videos and today I have every now and then DIY project, projects basically that I do for, my, for myself in the house and today I'm building a storage slash bench uh, you know when you come into the entrance I'm doing a, a custom build basically bench slash storage that's what I'm going to work on that's why uh, you see stuff like this in my hand, tools and I have a little toolbox here for myself and a few more things anyways I'm gonna jump into it so basically what I want is to turn um, that place into that place all right so that's what's gonna be happening so uh, let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions I don't have all the tools that I need but I'm just gonna make I'm gonna make it do make do with what I have basically all right so I hope you enjoy it and also don't forget to check into the link there uh, to see what other videos that I have up there be there mainly for cooking and also don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, also leave me a comment or two of what you think of these videos or the other videos you may be seeing. So here's the game plan. Um, as I said we're building uh, basically a built-in bench slash storage. It's gonna be by the entrance and it's gonna have basically two shelves as you can see two shelvings right here. So it's gonna be as long as 78 inches and the width that'll be actually our length. Uh, the width here is going to be 20 inches and the height is going to be 20 inches as well uh, basically that's it as you can see those are I'm um, kind of giving a quick sketch here basically don't pay attention to it so much so on here we're gonna be able to sit on it and we're going to be able to store stuff inside here the simplest way honestly if you don't have all the tools uh, in your house uh, to do is to go to like Home Depot or Lowe's or home hardware whatever and you just get your uh, make sure you have your measurements of your area where you're going to do your custom because custom basically you have to have your own measurements right so what we did we have our measurements as, uh, as I've just showed in the sketch here and basically we had certain things pre-cut for us I mean some things I'm cutting from for, for, for myself but those basically shelvings those were pre-cut for us because couldn't even fit in our in our car because you could be like, oh, I don't have a, um, a big car, a truck. Honestly, I don't have a truck. I have a very small car, actually. But uh, typically, you get all things pre-cut for you. And all you have to do is to uh, put them into your car. So sometime back, I built um, some uh, nightstands. Actually, it's been a week or whatever. Uh, but I, there's uh, a few pictures. Unfortunately, I didn't take videos on how to do those. Uh, but again, it's the same procedure. Just yeah, just have to get measurements and get stuff pre-cut for you, and just basically drill everything all together. So basically, there's some pictures as you can see right there, all around me. Uh, basically, I built that up, and uh, also I put up a, a door and stuff like that. Again, I'm gonna show you how I did all that stuff. I've ended up taking off all the best boards because uh, there was basically this first one right here and I ended up taking off all the main one as well because I, I realized uh, that's a thing when you're doing uh, DIYs and when you take stuff apart you realize that some things were, not, were done a little bit differently so I have to fix that up. I hit a snag already at the beginning before I even go any further. Uh, I took, I got this from Home Depot, uh, someone cut this for me, yeah, either way, uh, right now I realize this is not fitting properly, the way it should. So if you can see right here, so I realize it's not going down, so basically I have said to take, I'm going to take off that much, like that, and um, yeah. And I want to show you how I drew this line. Imagine you want to cut a, a small piece off, you can either measure off, measure off, Oh, uh, this is a little trick basically I learned from uh, one of the people who taught me actually this was I believe Martin, Martin Soga. So basically you use your finger right here as you see it, hold it down like that and do not move. Once you hold your pencil, that will be the space you're going to cut off. So this is what I'm doing. I do that, right? Once I do that, I can go all the way like this and do it several times without changing so much because all I'm doing is that without actually moving. It's like doing the same measurements all across. Okay, it's time to cut now. 
I know safety first. I understand, I know what you're saying. I don't have proper glasses, but this will protect me for now. I don't have my ear, you know, plugs for now, but um, DIY at home. Kids, don't try this at home. All right. This is the first one down. Uh, we only picked a little flimsy one because it's going to be it down anyways. Uh, I don't care about that. Um, and also I want to get, because I have to cut this through. It has to uh, be through it. And uh, I'm going to go through to go by whatever they did here. So, so here it is. So I'm just going to go from there. I'm going to draw a line like that. I do the same thing on the other side and basically I know my hole is going to be somewhere here in between now I just want to measure what is here so essentially whether you get a, a tape measure or not so right here see this I'm going off that so I'm gonna come from right here from the end again to here so I know that's where I need to be. So that's gonna be as deep as that. Let's confirm that. From right there to, again, same thing right here. As you possibly can see, I had to double check this to make sure it's cut properly. Uh, this has not changed, but also another way because typically you put these covers anyways on. So I put that over it to make sure it actually this falls in the, the way it should be. And of course when I put it here, I know it has a play. See, it's not too tight. So I know that is, that will be fine. That will still fall in just fine. The other way of course is make, you know, the usual way you should actually be doing it is measuring it. Uh, when I measure this right here, it's basically, it's basically six inches. You can measure your, after you get that, I measured my six inches right here. And again, I confirmed here my four, as you can see again. As you can see, I've basically manipulated this machine by moving it slightly like that so that I can cut through here. So I've just cut through there as you can see. And here, now I'm easy to just either take it out like that, and basically, bam! And that's how it's done. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so it's time to measure right now. As I said, if you, if you remember on our sketch, we've just done the bottom basically, which is that uh, the, 20, the 78 inches, which is this right here. It's going to be the same thing going up. Uh, right now, I'm just going to measure this off. So there is a 20. From there, I will again have another 20. So basically I've just put in one of the posts, uh, I bought two different types of nails, two sizes, as you can see them right here, I have that one and that one, and basically I'll just have to read off here, I have uh, 8 by 4 uh, uh, inches here, and also I bought the 8, uh, eight by 2 and a half. So as you can see them here, so basically that eight by two and a half will go through, be able to go through here and also make sure they're secured all the way because that length right there should be okay. And also for this one here, it's more like say when I put on the plywood and goes right through. The stud, which is inside somewhere, uh, you can actually use uh, something like this, uh, which is the, uh, start finder you use on the wall to find like say where the it would be when you do that so there for instance right there there is one okay guys so while you're away it rained a lot okay. in the meantime 
I was actually working in here because I had to move my cutting station. I move into the garage. That's so gonna be cutting everything from now on. Okay, so as you can see, I've already put up uh, the posts uh, or what is gonna be holding uh, or I've shaped out what our game plan is as you, as you can see here. What you want to make sure these are secure properly as you can see I've already put this in that's not moving that's not moving and as I say you make sure you, there is something uh, that's gonna uh, make it tighter in there and also making sure that it is actually leveled okay so make sure that it's leveled as you can see that is leveled right there and um, also when I put it down like this this is the middle right here, so this is a bit shaky at the moment but what I did actually, I drilled at an angle so that's it right there, it's been drilled in it's not really firm yet but I'm going to make sure that it's completely firm okay, alright and also I make sure this is surfacing just fine because this will be the end basically you want to make sure that looks pretty good okay, next this is where the wood is going to go through right here, so right here gonna be going through like that same thing on the other side as well and also same thing for the bottom and the other bottom as well so when I bring this back it should be able to go right through so I'm gonna cut these poles out like that so that it can go right through so basically I'm gonna make sure this is gonna be the middle shelf and then I'll put on the top shelf as well trying to get all our cuts in this is what we're gonna get caught back in and get back to the house I will say though this took away a lot of the humidity I think I have everything so let's go inside and see what we need to get done think so far almost there like a glove all right so this is the middle we pull the, the top one this is the first the first shelf is underneath second shelving and then the top will be where we'll be sitting. I'm pretty much done here. As I said, I'm gonna put on the top. That will be our sitting area in this beautiful view. Uh, the huge window, basically. Uh, that you can, you know, you wake up in the morning, or you, oh, you're like, ah, then you just kind of sit back on here. Oh, wait a minute, this is big enough to actually someone sleep on it. Oh. Okay, so if you come and visit, sleeping right here. All right, so I ended up taking this uh, middle shelving off uh, because I forgot to take care of this right here but this air here cannot stay inside as you uh, you already know it has to be diverted okay, so I went to Home Depot uh, at first I bought this right here and also I had bought this and I bought this right here so my whole plan 
was to use was to use this to go over this right here I was, go, I was going to cut this open so I can do that and then this would have gone through here like that and then they, I would have cut this and this would have been like this right here right uh, but since I haven't opened any of this stuff anyways when I went back I found a different solution to it and I asked about it they say it was okay it can actually be done that way so the other idea was this idea right here this is actually I don't know unless I'm not again I'm not saying this is a perfect idea I just, just found this idea honestly speaking okay my wife looked at it when we were in the home people like how about this babe this one shows you can actually use it um, underneath your couch to extend uh, that uh, the circulation of air you so you can put your couch wherever you want so I'm gonna use the same idea for us right now and also looks like it's gonna save us some space so we can actually have more storage so so this is the, the real material right here and it looks like like it can extend all the way this far it extends like as far as uh, 27 uh, centimeters so it goes that far like that right I don't need all that right now if you're using it on the couch I guess I guess they're trying to look at how long typically or wide that the, uh, the couch is so I'm going to use this idea now so I'll put this back So I'm gonna use this idea. I'm gonna put it over that, like that. And this is too much to excess, so I'm going to cut it off like that, so it ends right here. But still, the air. Uh, what I'm going to do is use. I'm gonna use silicone right here. I'm gonna use this silicone right there, so I can put it put it around, so make sure that the air comes just one way. As you can see, I've basically secured. Uh, that vent right now so essentially what I've done is that as you can see I've put it over over it and I've also put um, silicone in between and I've drilled uh, like I've drilled in as well to put some uh, a few bits in there as well so there's a few screws there's another screw right there and there's more screws in there so at the end of the day that's what the product's gonna be like. We're almost there. I know. I'm doing this in one day. I pushed it to the limit. I just wanna get it done, basically. So this DIY has taken me five hours, basically, to get done. First shelf is underneath. Second shelf is right here. Basically, everything is solid. And I'm just gonna put on the top right here. Do that on. And basically, that's it. And next thing I'll be doing, I'm going to be painting it white. So, uh, I want to show you the mess that I'm trying to get rid of right now because I hate the shoes in the way when people come in. I'm trying to get rid of that. You know, you have shoes on the way. I have my shock, my soccer shoes there, whatever, running shoes, my wife's shoes, and imagine that. So everything this is going to be going in here. Shoes will be rearranged inside there. <laughs> Uh, we decided I think my wife said we're going to do um, we're going to put a cushion on it uh, don't tell my in-law she's gonna be the one to do it we haven't told her that yet. and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe because I have more in stock I do DIYs I do cooking uh, cooking videos and so on and so forth okay please don't forget to like uh, share and also do not forget to leave me a comment to let me know what you think okay and also within this uh, video I want to leave you actually with a, a small word of the day building translates to my language as in kuzimba building kuzimba okay that is again kuzimba when you're building something so that's what we've just done and basically that's how we turned into that into this that was a game plan and from that game plan we were able to do this right here as you can see where we're seated 
and this is by again don't forget it's by the window here and actually we need to cut our curtains properly to fit so I ended up basically building this up right here as you can see so there's this plastic still under here but I basically because each time we stepped on this was moving and also I put these edges uh, we've just bought these as well as you can see these ones here to uh, basically put on here to because we're going to put shoes on um, essentially what we're looking at is shoes going in underneath and you can put actually two probably two back to back let's talk some math right now this whole thing buying the materials uh, buying all this stuff right here uh, buying basically everything we needed here um, ended up costing uh, basically roughly two hundred dollars okay uh, so we had like say four by fours uh, to, to buy the, the plywood uh, here this was cut in half and I used a bit on that the rest I wouldn't use it much and then underneath also I ended up buying a, a thinner plywood so that I didn't want to um, uh, basically to bump it up so high I want to still keep enough height because this down here remember this is a 20 from down up there to right here it's basically a 20 and um, basically it's a, a I can't say we have a five and a five because you still account for all this right here okay so and also I realized by the way that I did not buy enough wood and uh, so this right here I actually end up using those so you know when you go to a home depot and you're buying stuff but then there is some scrap they have uh, or what they wet something they wedge into their wood when they're holding it they're holding it up so basically that's what I end up using like that from this side on the other side one two three four uh, so once again if you have any questions um, please leave them for me in the comment section below and of course as usual if you check uh, the video side by side or uh, the, at the end of this um, uh, vi uh, this video you realize I have more uh, uh, DIYs that I've done and if you want to check those out that'd be great don't forget to like subscribe share and also I mean if you like what you see here maybe you can help someone out there as well uh, you know share with them okay uh, let me, let, me, let me know what you think by the way I know some of you put some comments on, on Facebook but I, I appreciate it if you actually put it on my uh, uh, YouTube so that I can actually I can see the comments soon enough I'll be seeing you either in my next cooking video or in my DIY uh, video okay and look out for another one just um, spoil a lot I'm, we're making a little something for a pregnant baby so look out for that Thank you guys, bye now.